Don't make a sound. 2 a.m. love, gotta keep it down. Don't wait over. Good morning, guys. I can't speak right now. Um, so welcome to the video. This video is totally unexpected because I had planned to film a really good video for you guys, but for the past three days, I have been feeling like... In dedication to my sickness, I thought I would make a video for you guys in regards to whether or not you should train while you're sick. So I'm going to be taking you throughout my day today, just kind of explaining some things um, that I personally have gone through and what I do when I'm sick. Stay tuned to see this beautifully swollen face. <laughs> oh my god, I look so hideous. Anyways, let's get to the video. Alright, now that I've put myself together a little bit, Put on a little bit of makeup so that my under eyes wouldn't look so bad because these last couple of nights I have not slept. It's been the most miserable time for me. Um, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but every time that I'm sick at night is like the worst. It gets worse throughout the night. So it's been, it's been a struggle. So anyways, I put myself together because I have to go into Tokyo for a meeting and well, you know. I can't be looking like <coughs> sorry back to whether or not you should go to the gym I think a good rule of thumb when considering whether or not you should go to the gym is number one if you're contagious if you're contagious and you go to a public gym Please don't go to the gym because then you're just going to spread your germs everywhere. You can get everyone else sick. Out of respect for other people, I think it's fair to say you should probably not go to the gym if you're contagious. Alright guys, it's such a nice day today. It's actually pretty warm um, or it seems like it's actually becoming spring. Which is why I'm not sure if this is allergies or I'm just sick. So, anyways, as I walk to the location of my appointment I figured I'd go ahead and talk to you guys about how long you should wait before going back to the gym so essentially what would be the length of your rest time and a lot of that can depend on what you're actually sick from and most importantly you know your body best so if you feel like you just need rest then rest something that I like to do to just kind of gauge where I am and how I feel is I'll go to the gym, do some light cardio, and if I feel okay post cardio, then I'll go ahead and continue my weight training. Um, but if I don't, then I go ahead and head back home and rest. Something that really does depend on how you feel. So always listen to your body. Rest and recovery is very, very, important when it comes to training so definitely be aware of how you feel so i currently stopped here at family mart because i need some vitamins in my life they don't have 7-eleven because if you know japan you know that 7-eleven is the place to go so family mart is number two got vitamin c and a hot tea these are so good now that I have my vitamin C and my hot tea, hopefully I'm going to feel a little bit better, but we shall see. I'm about to head home, but before I do, I know you guys are probably wondering, well, how long is too long? When do you start to see muscle mass loss? And this is a very, very important question if the gym is your thing. Um, if you're anything like me, three days without going to the gym, I start to feel like jello. And then you're like, damn it, I'm losing all of my muscle. You know, oh, what am I going to do? All my hard work, gone in three days. Well, your body doesn't work like that. Technically, you start to see muscle mass loss between three and four weeks of not 
going to the gym. Usually a lot of people tend to feel smaller after taking a week or a couple days off from the gym and that's perfectly normal. Normally your glycogen stores are depleted as well as you're, you're not as hydrated so that could also be just the lack of nutrition. You may not be eating uh, very good. Like for me, I don't really have an appetite and I honestly can't taste anything or smell anything so obviously I'm not really, you know, wanting to eat. <laughs> Feeling small is perfectly normal and you may look a little bit small but that doesn't mean that you've lost muscle. As soon as you start to feel better and you're back at the gym, you're eating good, you're hydrating, all that's going to come back. So I wouldn't stress too much. If you take a week off, don't worry about it. You're not losing all your gains. What's up guys? So I'm now back home and my head is like about to explode but you know nothing good ibuprofen can't fix. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways to summarize what we've talked about. One, don't go to the gym if you're contagious. Two, you know your body best so you know how much rest you need to be able to recover from your sickness. And three, don't worry about muscle loss. Remember that muscle loss does not start happening until three to four weeks of not going to the gym. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fitness related content, recipes, tips, workouts, all of that fun stuff. And also, quick little update before I conclude the video. Thank you everyone that has signed up to the Summer Body Challenge that I'm hosting that's going to be starting next week. I'm super excited. I really hope I feel better by then. I still have a couple spots available, so if you guys are interested in participating in my 12-week challenge for the Summer Body, I have all the details in the description box below, so definitely email me, let me know you're interested, and I'll definitely get you signed up to start for next week. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I need to go take a nap. I'm like, I'm a, I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs>